V1. Is that gum? Dang it. V1 is, uh, uh, let's say it's four meters per second. And we should use some vectors. So I'll say it's to the right. So RT. And V2 is uh, six meters per second. And it's to the right as well. So they're both going in the same direction. All right. And so I want to know, they smash together. I want to know, what's the final velocity? Boy, I really screwed up on that one. See, the deal is, I can't have a car crash into the other car if the car behind is moving at a slower pace. So what I really meant to say was the, the slower car was in front of the faster car. I mean, so they should be switched around. But the math will work all right. So anyway, keep going with the story. So, so what's my, my equation? Well, momentum before a collision is equal to momentum after. So let's see. I got before, I got the mass, the momentum of the first one, M1, V1, plus the momentum of the second car, M2, V2. Now, after the collision, they're stuck together. There's the clever part. I know you were waiting the whole time for it. Um, it's the same mass. So it's one body, and it's got the combined combination of the two, M1 plus M2. The two vehicles are now one vehicle. Nobody's real happy about it, but that's the way physics is. And they're all moving at this final velocity. Now, check it out. I've got, I know M1, I know V1, I know M2, I know V2, and all these guys. The only thing I don't know is that final velocity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by m1 plus m2, that quantity in the parentheses. I'll get the final velocity all by itself. And I can solve for it. If I can just find a spot for it. Oh, right up there. That looks good. So I'll wind up with uh, the final velocity equal to m1 v1 plus M2, V2, over M1 plus M2. And that's going to be equal to, now I can plug in the numbers. I got my working equation, I got my final velocity all by itself. So I'm going to have, uh, let's see, a thousand kilograms, a thousand kilograms. times four meters per second I'm gonna put big brackets around here yeah. plus 1500 kilograms fifteen hundred kilograms times six meters per second. And that's all to the right. In that big bracket. And that's all divided by. A uh, thousand plus fifteen hundred kilograms. So a thousand kilograms. plus 1,500 kilograms. Now check it out, the kilograms, I got kilograms, kilograms up there, kilograms down here. They all cancel out, because I'm adding them, they're not multiplying, right? So it's, I could say that's 1,000 plus 1,500 parentheses kilograms. 
and I can pull the kilograms out of the top so they cancel out. So I'm going to have a final velocity. It's going to be meters per second. And that's going to be 4,000 plus 9,000. It's going to be 13,000. 13,000 over 2,500. So that's going to be, let's see, that's uh, 13,000 over 2,500. And that's meters per second to the right. That's going to be four, five, I think that's uh, 5.2. So that'll be 5.2 meters per second to the right. Now, so uh, I just, I saw some guy doing this. I was, uh, I don't really don't, oh, yeah. I, um, I wasn't, that this chalks for other stuff. I, mm -hmm. Somebody else was, I think he went that way. I was just, um, uh, how much is this gonna cost? Uh, it's only gonna be 10 hours. Okay, thanks.